So in Power BI, what do I do when I have uh, this error, this OLEDB error that says we couldn't parse the input provided as a date value? This error happens because I'm bringing in a text file and I'm filtering on a column in that text file and I've got a record in, that, in the data set that isn't a date or isn't the correct data type that I'm expecting. And so if I go ahead and edit the query and I bring up Power Query, you'll see I have a filter right here and that filter is parsing on the date and you can see that this date is after 1231.99, right? And there's some record in there that's messing it up. And in this case, I can't actually see the record in there that's messing it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that filter. I'm gonna verify that that date, is, that that date field is, a, is an actual date data type, and it is, okay? Now, which record is it? Well, that's the tricky part. What I'm gonna do here is before I change the data type, it's the header record. It's the actual date header that's trying to parse as a date. And it doesn't really show here in the GUI that that date record is coming in. And so I need to filter away from that. And the way I filter the headers out of there is I could pick any column here, but in this case, I'm gonna pick the country header. And I'm just gonna say, hey, please make sure that when we filter, that the record there doesn't equal country. And that will filter the entire row. And if I do that, then I change the data type like I want to. Then I add that date filter back again. So I say, please show me records after 1231, 1989. Now it's also, I would just use a four character year just so you know that the input is being parsed correctly as, a, as the, right, the exact right date. And click OK, and then change and apply. Close and apply. And now all the records are gonna come in like normal, and I'm not gonna have that um, error that you saw before. Thanks, have a great day.